वेलकम टू फार्म ग्रो हेयर आर द टॉप ट्वेंटी फ्रिक्वेंटली आस्क क्वेश्चन अबाउट द ऑटोक्लो और एच पी एच पी सिम स्टरलाइजर द पर्पज ऑफ मेकिंग दिस वीडियो इज टू हेल्प पर्सनल हैंडलिंग ऑटोक्लो इन फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्री फॉर द इंटरव्यू पर्पज एंड यू कैन आस्क यूर क्वेश्चन इन द कमेंट बॉक्स डोंट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल फॉर मोर यूजफुल कंटेंट सो क्वेश्चन नंबर वन वॉट इज प्रिंसिपल ऑफ ऑटोक्लो और एच पी एच पी स्टीम स्टरलाइजर दिस इज most commonly asked question about autoclave or hpv stem sterilizer answer of this question should be sterilization is achieved in autoclave chamber or hpv stem sterilizer chamber due to the exposure of microorganisms to heat and pressure of steam for a validated time which acts on the microorganisms to kill them autoclave uses pressurized steam to kill harmful bacteria viruses fungi and spores on the item that are placed in autoclave chamber question number 2 what are the different cycles taken in autoclave or hpv stem sterilizer answer of this question should be basically three types of cycles are taken in autoclave or hpv stem sterilizer these are bovidic test cycle vacuum leak test cycle and hpv cycle bovidic cycle is taken to ensure the effectiveness of pre vacuum cycle or the pre vacuum phases taken to remove the air and replace it with the steam this confirms the adequate removal of air pockets from the chamber whereas second vacuum leak test this cycle is taken to check any leakages in the autoclave chamber and third one is hpv cycle that is high pressure high vacuum cycle this is actual sterilization cycle taken to sterilize the material inside the chamber Next question number 3 what is frequency of bovidic test cycle and answer of this question should be bovidic test should be taken every day that is before the day's first process load according to AAMI that is association for the medical instrumentation bovidic test cycle shall be conducted every day question number 4 what is use of bovidic test answer of this question should be bovidic failure indicates that there are air leak in the chamber and inadequate air removal during the vacuum stage inadequate steam penetration or presence of non condensable gases in the steam whereas bovidic test confirms the appropriate functioning of autoclave that's why we took bovidic test cycle prior to day's first load question number 5 which biological indicator is used in autoclave qualification answer is bacillus stereothermophilus or the geobacillus species are used for autoclave validation and the reason behind using this uh, bacillus species or the geobacillus species is that they gets inactivated when exposed to the 121 degree celsius for minimum 20 minutes of time period and along with this biological indicators chemical indicator tapes also used during the qualification stage question number 6 why sterilization is done at 121 degree celsius for 30 minutes answer of this is lethality rate of saturated steam at this point is maximum that is at 121 degree celsius saturated steam gives a highest lethality rate hence autoclave sterilization cycle is taken at 121 degree celsius saturated steam at 128 degree celsius needs 15 minutes to kill microorganisms to reduce their population by 6 log Question number seven: What is overkill approach used in autoclave sterilization? Answer is: Although we know that sterilization is achieved within initial 15 minutes of sterilization cycle, we run this cycle for additional 15 minutes, that is total 30 minutes, to have an additional assurance that the all microorganisms have been killed or six log reduction has been achieved. Question number eight: What is six log reduction? Answer. Six log reduction means the number of microorganisms is reduced by the six log. That is, if ten lakh microorganisms are present on the particular surface and their number is reduced to one, then it is called six log. Here, the examples or the log reduction is explained like if ten lakh microorganisms are present on the particular surface and it is reduced to the one lakh, then it is called one log reduction. That is, we have reduced one zero. from the total number and if the two zeros are removed that is from the 10 lakh to 10000 then it is called two log and if it is from the 10 lakh to the 1000 that is three zeros are removed then it is called three log reduction question number 9 what is sterility assurance level or sal 
Answer is it is practically impossible to destroy or kill all the microorganisms every time after sterilization process. Hence, SAL or sterility assurance level is used to express the probability of the survival of microorganisms. So we generally consider six log reduction of bio load on the material as a sterility assurance level. SAL describes the killing efficiency of a sterilization process. Question number 10 What are the different phases of autoclave sterilization cycle? Answer of this question is basically three are the phases of autoclave sterilization cycle and they are conditioning phase, exposure phase and the drying phase. In the conditioning phase, chamber air is replaced with the steam and it gets heat up to the sterilization temperature that is 121 degrees Celsius. Second phase is exposure phase in which actual sterilization happens and third phase is drying phase where vacuum pulses are used to remove the moisture from the material. Question number 11. What is porous load and non-porous load? Answer of this is porous load is a load with the material for which sterilization is achieved through direct contact with saturated steam. Example is garment load. In porous load, steam penetrates throughout. Second type is non-porous load. Non-porous load is called for the load with the material which does not allow steam to pass through it. An example of non-porous load is materials with glass, plastic and metals. Question number 12. What is load pattern? Answer is the load pattern is the manner or orientation as we keep material in the autoclave chamber and load pattern is nothing but the placement pattern of a material inside the autoclave chamber. Question number 13. Why moist heat is used for the sterilization purpose in autoclave? Answer is saturated steam has high penetrability as compared to the dry steam and it can kill microorganisms effectively. Hence moist heat is used in autoclave. Due to the quickly killing property of moist steam, it is used in autoclave sterilization process. Question number 14. What happens if air pockets are not effectively removed from the autoclave? Answer is Pre-vacuum pulses are used to remove the air from the autoclave chamber and replace it with the steam. If the air pockets are not removed efficiently, steam will not penetrate throughout and proper sterilization will not be achieved. Question number 15. Which materials do you sterilize in autoclave or HPSP steam sterilizer? Answer is garments and disinfectant loads are taken in autoclave or HPSP steam sterilizer. We sterilize manufacturing parts and the filling parts in autoclave or HPS system sterilizer chamber along with this accessories like tubings filters are sterilized and decontamination load usually we take uh, with the media plates that are sterilized in autoclave or HPS system sterilizer chamber question number 16 what are the steam quality test for steam used in autoclave or HPS system sterilizer answer is three main tests are taken for checking the steam quality these are non condensable gases test steam dryness test and the superheat test for the non condensable gases like carbon dioxide sulfur dioxide and other gases their content should be less than or equal to 3.5 percent of the volume and for the steam dryness the acceptance criteria for the steam dryness is at least 0.95 or 95 percent by weight and for the superheat the amount of superheat content should be more than 25 degree kelvin Question number 17 What is time based cycle and the F0 based cycle? The answer is the modern autoclaves are enabled with the two function cycles that are time based cycle and the F0 based cycle. Time based cycles are end up once the sterilization timer is end or the achieved, and the second type that is F0 based cycle that ends when the F0 value is achieved. Next question number 18 What is D value in autoclave validation? D value is the time taken to reduce the microbial population by one logarithm that is one log reduction or 90% of its initial value under the specified conditions that is sterilant concentration, exposure temperature, relative humidity and the package configuration. Question number 19 which guidelines should we refer for the autoclave or HPH steam sterilizer operation? Answer is there are many guidelines or the guidance are available out of which two are most preferred one. First is PDS technical report number one that is giving the idea about the validation of moist heat sterilizer processes, cycle design, development, qualification and ongoing control. Along with this EN285 also referred, it is European standards 
for performance requirements of autoclave or HPSP steam sterilizer. Question number 20. This question is specially for you and the question is why one temperature sensor is located at drain point. Comment your answer in a comment box. Keep watching FarmGrow and subscribe to channel for more videos related to pharmaceutical industry.